guys, welcome to our little tiny house on wheels. Today we're in the beautiful um, Mount Shasta, California, and I thought I would show you how I make my calendula balm and my calendula oil. So come on in. So if you don't know what calendula is, it's the beautiful um, flower inside of this bottle, also known as marigold, and I have a whole buds and leaves in here. Um, calendula is used in a lot of beauty products because it's really, really good for the skin. It can be used for all, like a huge variety of skin conditions, so minor skin irritations, cuts, burns, bug bites, diaper rash. It is um, heavily used for eczema, and you find it in a lot of commercial beauty products on the market, and it is also a favorite among herbalists um, because of all those uh, properties. It's very high in linoleic acid which is one of the essential fatty acids for humans. Um, side note, it is also um, digestible, but the way that it works great for the skin is um, that is going to help to free, um, neutralize any of those free radicals and help for a youthful, um, very youthful appearance of your skin. And of course, combined with the oil, it's gonna be just an awesome moisturizer as well. So this is actually one way of making calendula oil here. A lot of herbalists will make a big batch at a time and they'll do just what I did. They'll take the petals and the buds and they'll put them directly into like a large mason jar, cover it with oil. Most of the time, all you can use really any carrier oil. A lot of times people use olive oil um, or jojoba oil. Um, but anyway, any carrier oil that you want. I believe in here I use sweet almond oil. Um, I like that one because it doesn't have a lot of extra smell because um, I wanted to add some citrusy scents to this. So basically, this is a hot sauce bottle. <laughs> and it has like a great top for it, uh, the hot sauce top, where you can just shake a little bit into your hand at a time. And so I'll use this all over my body. And that beautiful yellow color came directly from um, the calendula leaves. When you're making an oil like this and you're not using heat, you do need to let it sit for four to six weeks. And so what I'll do is I, We'll take the box of the bottles of cumin. I will add the calendula buds and petals. I will put the oil back on it. I will put them all back in the box and let them sit in a warm place for four to six weeks. And that's it. Now, a lot of folks would strain the petals and the buds at this time, but I like to give it and sell it just like this. And I'll just put my label on it because herbalism is both a science and an art. All of the benefits that I mentioned about calendula are inside this bottle, but how beautiful is that too? So I like to leave them in um, for the person receiving it. Now here also are the dried uh, calendula petals. Everything is organic, by the way, and um, this is what I'm going to use to show you how I make uh, calendula oil the heat process way, which is a lot quicker than waiting four to six weeks. So here we've got some calendula oil working on the stove. You know, we live in a trailer, an Airstream, so I don't have a lot of fancy kitchen gadgets and you don't need it at all. Um, basically what I'm using here is coconut oil and see how I made a makeshift double boiler? And I am going to let this go low and slow for several hours and that's gonna be um, infusing and letting the oil extract all of the linoleic acid and other great benefits of the calendula petals. When my calendula oil is done, I will strain it into another jar using a tea strainer. So I wanted to note that when you use the heat method, the double boiler method to make calendula oil, you don't have to use coconut oil like I did. You can use any carrier oil, but the reason that I'm using coconut oil is this batch of calendula oil is getting used in my Bliss Balm recipe, which is a balm that I absolutely swear by. I give it to friends, family, I give it as gifts, I sell it in my apothecary. And so um, I'm using coconut oil because coconut oil is one of the key ingredients in that balm. So I'm going to infuse the coconut oil with the calendula petals first and then add all the other ingredients so that the balm will have the added properties of the calendula oil. So I want to show you how I make that balm. It's really simple and just beautiful ingredients, um, all organic. So 
first, um, you're just going to use equal parts shea butter, coconut oil, like I just mentioned, and then beeswax. Um, so just equal parts. I like to write my recipes in parts because I have made as little as a tablespoon of each at a time um, or as much as a cup of each at a time when I'm making larger containers for um, the body. Um, you'll also need these little um, tins. I have small ones and large ones, but today I am making the half ounce size, which is kind of the standard for lip balms. Uh, so, and then in addition to that, I do add some vitamin E oil. And then my favorite, absolute favorite essential oil combination for this recipe is vanilla and peppermint. Um, I had a little bit of trouble finding organic vanilla oil. Um, so that's the only one. It's 100% pure, but it's not USDA certified organic. Um, sometimes I can find it at a good price, sometimes I can't, but I still believe that it's a very high quality. So anyway, those are our ingredients. And Okay guys, so here is an absolutely gorgeous finished product. So you can see I have two sizes. I love to put some of the calendula petals on top so that the recipient knows that these are made from beautiful natural ingredients. And you can see I have quite a lot here, so I hope that they move fast. Hey, thanks for joining me guys. If you liked this video, please subscribe. I'll be sharing more um, natural remedies. Thanks.